This is Britain's biggest ever conventional bomb called the Grand Slam. Weighing in at a whopping 22,000 pounds or 10 tons, it gained the nickname 10 Ton Test. It was 10.8 meters tall, 1.17 meters wide, and had a yield of 6.6 .6 tons of TNT, making it the largest conventional bomb of World War II. It's what you call a seismic or earthquake bomb. Unlike a traditional bomb that explodes near the surface or on impact, the Grand Slam was specifically designed to penetrate the ground, burying itself as deep as possible so that when it exploded, it created a huge crater 40 meters wide and 20 meters deep. But to achieve this, the casing of the Grand Slam was made of a chromium molybdenum steel alloy, ensuring it would survive the impact without detonating prematurely. It was also extremely aerodynamic, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 715 miles an hour. The bomb was so large they had to make specially designed Lancaster bombers just to accommodate it, removing turrets and armor to save weight, completely removing the Bombay doors and uprating the engines amongst other changes. 41 Grand Slams were used during World War II, destroying the likes of viaducts, railways, U-boat pens and various military installations. But Britain has never built a larger conventional bomb since.